Hey guys, welcome back. For today's vlog, I thought I'd talk about a film I made when I was about 15 years old. It's called Lost on Motohaku. When I made this film, Lost on Motohaku, I was really excited about it. So the film was about two siblings, a brother and a sister, and they're flying by helicopter, because their dad's very wealthy, to go and see their father. And on the journey, the pilot has a heart attack, and basically their helicopter crash lands on this island called Motohaku. The journey is about them trying to get back and surviving. As you can imagine, <laughs> having helicopters and crashes and being in the middle of nowhere, it involved a lot of high production values. It was the most ambitious project I'd tried to make up to that point. So I was totally up for the challenge, but I was also in for a really tough ride. I had huge expectations for this film. I wanted it to win awards, be seen all over the world, do awesome things. The only problem was is that <laughs> I spent probably a week writing the script and developing the story and about three or four months making the film. And as we all know, <laughs> story should always come first, but all I was thinking about is I wanted to copy all these big budget scenes with helicopters and flying through all these interesting spots and just having lots of production value. I didn't actually put into consideration the story and really developing the characters. So I dived into this project, getting everything put together, and I managed to um, film in a helicopter thanks to a family friend. We, we couldn't take off, but we were filming inside the hangar, so we had like a blue screen, and uh, we had the actors hanging out, and I'd shake the camera so it looks like we're flying, and then I'd add sound effects later. And we had a visual effects person who I'd never met to this day, who I managed to find on an online forum. I sent them what I was after, and they designed a 3D model of the helicopter so we could put it into the environment. It was amazing having somebody who didn't even live in the same country as me helping out on this film. It just made me start to realize that filmmaking is no longer about kind of where you're based, but it's more about the talent and who you can bring on the team. We spent a few weeks shooting. We did night shoots, we did early morning shoots. We did everything possible. We had big set pieces with helicopters burning, and it was just very, very ambitious. So when we came to finishing the project, I had spent a lot of time editing it. It was also the first time I'd had a composer actually make an original score for the film. It was so exciting. <laughs> Once I finished the film, I entered into the Youth Town Film Competition. I invited all my friends to the premiere and the screening. I had really high expectations. And then it came to the awards night. I didn't win anything. And I felt like I'd let everybody down. I thought I was a huge failure. I thought the film had done terribly. Um, I hadn't won any awards. And I was really disheartened. But looking back at it, it wasn't a failure. It was a huge, huge learning curve. By making that film, I learned all about cinematography, I learned about music, I learned about special effects. I learned so many things, as well as the storytelling element of it. And I was able to put those skills that I learned from that film into future projects. If I have any advice, it would be to go out and make as many films as you can. The more mistakes you make, the better your films are going to get. There's a great saying which basically says, success comes from experience. Experience comes from failure. So the more you fail, the more success you're going to have. It's important to remember that whenever you're doing a creative project, that we've all got to start from somewhere, and it takes a long, long time to get to where we want. And if there's enough passion and desire and determination to get there, you will do it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you've got any questions, post them below. Other than that, I'll see you next week.